Sam King. Dust off. Narcan. My name is Fat Mike. I'm an old punk rocker. Who's more well known for being a shit talker? A troublemaker and iconoclast. I thought I'd do more damage with my own podcast. George Clooney. Tips from jail. Tickling. Awkward. Episode 32. Prison Tips from Sam King. Did you know that you can actually see this podcast? Stream the video now at nocapshows.com and watch it commercial free with bonus episodes. Backstage footage. Exclusive vinyl. And have Fat Mike and Sam listen to your band and tell you if you suck. Go to nocapshows.com right now and quit listening. Start watching. Hi, Sam. How you doing, Mike? Uh, you know how I'm doing. We've been hanging out all fucking day. Okay. So you're not doing well. I'm doing fine. You, you scare me. Oh, I don't know why. Uh, That's a weird thing to say since you've been holding my hand all day. Thank you very much. <laughs> well... Uh, you're kind of a tough guy, you know. You've been to prison, uh, or jail a, thou- a thousand times. A thousand times. A thousand times. I, I mean, am COVID. You gave me tips on how to get through prison. And what did I tell you? You, you said to clean up after yourself. You told me. Uh, well, that's a, that's a, hey, don't try to pick a fight with anybody. No, that's not what I said. I said you find the biggest motherfucker that you see when you walk in there, and, say, and you look him. Excuse no, me, sir. No, you look him dead in the eye, and you go, "Hey, guy," and you fucking tickle him. Tickle him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and if he starts laughing, you go, real thugs aren't ticklers. And then you run, oh. the, then you run the pod. It uh, works every time. I thought you did the circle game you know, like this. No, I'm not looking down. You looked, you've been looking all day. And you slugged the biggest guy in the arm. You looked. No, no, you no. You looked, no. fucking bitch. Yeah, but A, but Kay. I still won the battle. So I was, game. I was at. Uh, I, write, I write history. I used to do that to TSA agents. What? I got seven TSA agents once with the circle game. No you, shit. You punched the federal officer? Yeah, yeah I know. It, it, it was all fun and games. Until, until this fucking big ass. black dude uh, it was like, like a huge dude. Like yeah. limo, you know, of, and he's like, what, what fuck? Because like, I got him. I go, you looked. And I he goes, yo, you don't want to punch me. Yeah, uh, I like, wouldn't. I but wouldn't. you looked, officer. So, TSA agent. So did they tell you like, yo, you follow the no, yellow but, line? Is it, so <laughs> I go, I go, I'm sorry, sir. So I went, you know, through clear as I do, as one does. And I just bought clear, by the way. <laughs> right. And I and I, I I'm going to be honest, and I think that I looked over at the uh, like the normal line, and I I said the word peasant. <laughs> Lower class. I mean, third class. Yeah, until steerage. you until you realize that you're paying for fucking clear, and you're paying 130 dollars a month for them to just merge you into the same lane. You, you're so unclear. You're yeah. one of the most unclearest. <laughs> I'm so clear. You're opaque, dude. I I even picked a retina scan. <laughs> that's how that's how much I believe in my case. Wow. So anyway, back to the Asian dude. Okay. Uh, so I walked through. Wait a minute. No, no. no. First of all, this is a big black dude. A Polish he, joke. Big black dude. Okay. So then I'm like, oh, he's he's gone, and then so I'm going through the X-ray thing, and I go, I'm sorry, is this metal? And the, this guy looked at it. And he goes, Oh, you got me. So I had to slug him, and then the big guy came. And he goes, You just punched a federal officer. Uh, you're going to fucking jail. And so what happened in jail? Was it fun? No, no. I was thinking, oh, thank God it's that Sam gave me those tips. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> to tickle the biggest guy. Yeah. <laughs> she already fucked up. You no, but, but then I was like, I'm like, seriously, uh, officer. Did y'all come here real quick? I was, I, I I was just, seriously, the he looked at the it. circle. What am I fucking supposed to do? Yeah, they let, hey, cops love it when you tickle them. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anybody listening to this, anybody that really, you know. Uh, but, if you know you've done bad, just no, I said them. I said a lot of nice things. I'm sure you did. Yeah, but you vote, you you're the only. You nice. are so. You're a you beautiful man. Nice. You're very hit him with some John Denver fucking cuts. Yeah, but uh, he did let me go because he was a NoFX fan. You okay. know. Okay. Well. <laughs> I asked him if he liked uh, some other punk bands. He goes, "No, nope. not a big fan of the Dropkicks." What? Wait, wait, wait! Don't bring it. Don't bring me into some. <laughs> no, no, no! I'm, I'm kidding because he's a federal officer. Of course, of course, he's a fan of the Dropkicks. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys caught? No, they're they're more like city officials or, or Dropkicks fans. Yeah, I remember, uh, what? What's wrong with my bottle here? 
So, Sam, this episode is brought to you by Liquid Death. Liquid Death. Li- Liquid Death. Uh, it's also brought to you by Dust Off. Uh, one of. <laughs> Always look your best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sam. Uh, I've never, I've never done the dust off. Well, hey, why don't you try some on your I'll, I'll no. try some on my okay, hair. Ready? Ready? Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, look it, look it, look it. <laughs> meet him, meet him. Check this out. Look it. Okay. Luxurious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> check you out. Now check you out. Check you out. Okay. Check you okay. Out. Shit. <laughs> You look like Beetlejuice with the spikes out that's going to the whorehouse. It's like, hey, oh, yeah, that, tastes like that tastes like uh, gas, yeah. gasoline. That tastes it's like eighth grade, bro. It's okay. Uh, Just kidding. Do you see my, uh, my artwork over there? Do you Narcan for... Everything? I have Narcan here. You know why I keep Narcan here? Because you know, of you. Because hey, you know of you. You know what's real fucked up? Is that in the back of the van right now, I'll run out there and grab it. We have a fucking um, a Narcan Get Dead kit for our merch table. And it's like, it's like, yo. Get dead yeah. with Narcan. Yeah, yeah, and we're like, yo. Hey, and it's a, and we have a fentanyl testing kit. Well, as what does, as what has. Who on this property, and we don't need to say names, whatever, who has some cocaine, I'm going to run to the van, and I'm going to get a fucking, I'm, we're going we're gonna to test it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and we want, I want them, like, they can be in the background. We can, like, you know. You have, you have a fentanyl tester. Yes, I do. And if we, if we have allegedly been doing fentanyl, I'm gonna be upset. I'm gonna, but I'm I'm dead serious. But anyway, the fucked up part is sorry I went way off track. Is that oh, that that shit is heavy lettuce? Um, <laughs> <laughs> heavy the, lettuce. The the the, the Narcan and the fentanyl testers. The fucked up thing is like I don't I didn't do it. I did not do it. I did not support this message. But it's like donations or two bucks. It's like so no matter what, if your friend is dying, you have to like you have to break off the well, merch you have to like, you have to keep Narcan. How about get in your dead? House. How about get dead? We have no idea how we got this. Someone probably bought keep it on Narcan in your kitchen. That's what I always say. How's it go? Is that like the new is that like a jiffy pop? No, I ha- I have a song. Uh how's it go? Of uh if you're gonna shoot up, make sure you're not alone. No, fuck that. Oh, no, no, no. What? we're gonna play the song right now. We all did a lot of drugs, or we wouldn't be here. Some of us are quitters, others smoke pot and secretly drink beer. But if you're gonna do hard drugs, you better use your phone. Call a friend, your mom, someone you hate. Just don't do them alone. Keep Narcan in your kitchen. Always have some extra needles even if you already quit Cause you never know what old friend is gonna show up at your door Shoot up in the bathroom and have a seizure on your floor It's okay to shoot dope It's just a drug to help us cope with our lives When we just can't handle the pain Try to be safe, no need to hide. Don't be, you can't be shamed if you have junky pride. Things could be a lot worse. You could be addicted to meth. At least you're not on meth. At least you're not on meth. I'd rather choose death than do meth. Now I'm getting back to the point. Don't be lazy, steal a phone before you pawn it. Call up an old friend. just found out you're diabetic and sometimes you might drop in but don't worry this powder i'm chopping on your table is just peruvian insulin would it be okay if i borrowed your car because it's not wrong Okay, drugs help a lot of us get through the day. Don't let anybody shame you. It's your choice to get high. Let's all sing together. We're just trying to feel better. Shouldn't be ashamed to ask someone for help. 
everybody Just try to be safe, no need to hide You can't be shamed if you have intravenous pride To be clear, I'm talking heroin and coke Cause it's not wrong, it's okay Drugs help a lot of us get through the day Don't let anybody shame you Unless you're doing speed At least we're not on meth At least we're not on meth And if you OD on meth Even Narcan won't prevent your death Let me hold your tongue Oh god Okay. You've been to prison. The other day, the other day I was eating, and I like bit my tongue like super I remember hard. That, yeah. And remember, I was like, "What the fuck?" And I was thinking about, it, I was like, maybe it was like stony thought. And I'm like, dude, what a fucking malfunction on the human system. Because when you bite your tongue, it fucking hurts. Like you go for blood. Like we eat sandwiches that hard. That's fucked up. No. We, how does it get so hard? When I, it's not like we're jumping. Well, you know, first of all, you gotta show me the titties. And, well, you ask how it gets so hard. You talking about my titties? You know, hey, actually, you know, there used to be uh, a Twitter site, a Twitter thing called uh, Fat, Fat Mike's Mike Nipples. Fist. Fat Mike's Nipples. I thought you were saying your tits are so big. I had tons of followers. I thought you were people send so big you had a Twitter site. No, they said they send in you know, like lemons or pictures of ma- mountains. Excuse me, that look like my nipples. Does that ever like... Uh, no, lemons, the end of a lemon. Uh, my nipples are... Look. They're fucking disgusting. You do have the longest nipples ever. You know what my favorite was? was yeah, but they're, the, they're dry. The it, it's like they're scabs. Uh, yeah. Um, the, during the album release, you're like the Nelson Mandela of of punk singers. <laughs> anyway, there you were, there you were, and you had these like clamps on your fucking your grotesquely long nipples, mm. and you had a weight. It was like a full. It was a hey. It was a episode was brought to you by Liquid Death <laughs> can. Right? Was it a Liquid Death can? And no, no, no. That's that's Lady death. Duster. Yeah. That, hey, who is it? Who In- Insignia. Is it 3M? Insignia. Oh, no, no. I only buy... Stop it. I only buy free-range fucking dust off, bro. Oh, no, no. It's cool. This is made by Procter & Gamble. We're good. We're good. It's natural. <laughs> <laughs> you look like James Bond doing that twisty thing. <laughs> Your lips all... <laughs> what do you mean James Bond doing the twisty thing? Yeah, he was in this thing. It was like what, what rocket, what's, what's rocket people do. You know, when you, you want to rocket... Oh, you mean astronaut training? Astronaut training. That's actually done in Houston, and those are American heroes, so you should put some respect on their name. <laughs> put some respect? You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, have you, did you see fucking Clint Eastwood and Space Cowboys? Respect, homie. <laughs> Straight up. You know, fucked up, bro. I hey, never... Hey, you know what I did here, though? You probably believe no. we went to the moon. I am the moon. Secondly, so the new Clint Eastwood movie, the um, uh, fucking, like, Old Savage or whatever it's called. What's it called? Uh... I can't remember the name. Look it up, man. You're, you're, you're the guy. You're the guy. Like, I watch podcasts all the time. Like, you're the dude. You're right. I'm the guy. I'm you're, the guy. You're, you're, you're young Jamie or whatever the fuck. And secondly, fuck you, Joe Rogan. You know what I mean? You uh, you way hyped up DMT. I did it. And it's not that fucking, it's not that cool. Uh, not if you do it every night. But you know what? I have it's a fentanyl called... tester and a DMT pen if we want to put all of this science to the test. Oh, you have a DMT pen. Yes. Cry macho. Cry macho. Hey, you know what? I have... But I, I'm just saying that thank goddess that they put DMT in a pen instead of just like this weird thing you have to smoke with pot. Yeah, but I don't think that I don't think that like I, when I did that. The pen is a DMT. It's called the analog, and it's not actual DMT because DMT is a powder. And if you hit it once, you don't get to like you know what I mean when you're floating. Fucking. I, I see. I hit it once in the Dominican Republic. Okay. Okay. And I was on uh, uh on a bed like six a.m. With uh, Jewel Marceau, who's a some bondage model, but she's, she's she's nice, nice lady, and we were tied to the bed, and then you know, uh, my lady, so much snake oil, you know, she made us smoke DMT. Ex lady, ex lady. There you go. At the time, she's my lady. You can't, you can't. Uh, uh, what do you call it if, when you're in a? Never mind. It's my lady at the time. It's a dust song. Anyway, the thing is, is I don't know how to smoke. I never smoked a cigarette, so I s- smoked some, and I'm like, oh yeah, there's clouds, whatever, and. The other chick is fucking going, woo! Pause, pause, mm. rewind. Mm-hmm. When you smoke the cigarette, 
Did you like say, oh, there's like clouds up there? Or were you, uh, were you I amazed? I wasn't fucking that, high. Were you amazed that smoke was coming out of your mouth after you took a drag of a cigarette? No, it wasn't a cigarette. They made me hey, smoke it with pot. Can we get Sorry. Hi, this is Fat Mike on Fat Mike's Fat Mike. Uh, once again, we don't have any sponsors. Even Liquid Death. Uh, we drink a lot of it. They give it to us, but we're running out of money here at Fat Mike's Fat Mike. So I'm making my own commercials. I'm going to start with this one. Heard of Fat Records? It's uh, a label I started. These are all the records that I produced or recorded at Motor Studios. Look at that. Look at all those Gimme's records. What a fine bunch of looking dudes we were at one point. And these Mad Caddies, Cobra Skulls, what? Uh, bracket, high standard. So, you know, if you want to support Fat Mike's Fat Mike, you could go to fatrecords.com or something and buy stuff. But right now, this is the new record. Look at this. RKL, live in a dive. This is awesome. This is RKL recorded in 1988 in Europe and Damn Sight's artwork. It's a very good record. Uh, so I suggest you buy this and support this podcast. Thank you. I'm drinking beer, dude. I know. I can smell. Mm. That's not beer anyway. So whoever's watching this, this fucking guy fills up these goddamn bottles with water or apple juice and then acts like he's drinking with all of us like oh, look dude person. it's i that's not true i drink beer i put iced tea in my jameson bottle okay that's that's the thing i do did you really piss in the tequila shots <laughs> what do you mean no look i've i have enough experience with drinking pee to tell you that uh of, co- of course of course i'm not going to tell you i've seen it i've seen it i've seen it firsthand and it doesn't matter you if you're going to talk about off. fucking Clint Eastwood. No, no, I'm no, not no, no, resp- oh, sorry, sorry, dust off got me off. Christ, Savage, I love fucking Clint Eastwood. I think that like Clint Eastwood has made some fucking rad movies. I think the last one he made when he was in fucking you know what Grand you have some was his way of getting off like some racist shit he had to say out and the fucking thing because that shit was fucked. I up. just I just he didn't need to write that. That's like Tarantino putting the fucking N word in every movie and then he shows up to say it. So I'm gonna take you know what I mean. It's just. It's fucking you know, tacky, he, he kind of ruined a lot of movies. He didn't ruin Reservoir Dogs, but he did ruin Pulp Fiction because it, it it just didn't work. <sighs> it didn't work. You know, it was such a great scene. And, I think the thing then, that, that fucks me up about Pulp Fiction is the fact that he was he was fucking he was in the Bay Area. We we'll call it simping. Okay, and that's when uh, you're fucking. That's uh, you're what, what do you mean simping in the Bay Area? In 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 the Bay Area back in the day when Pulp Fiction came out, the fucking proper vernacular would be simp, and a simp. Is like a soft ass pimp. So basically, you're just fucking. You fall in love with the chick. And you're every, hard, dude. You're hard. And everything that she does, you're just like, oh, no. you're just fawning after her, and she don't give a fuck about you. That was him, and that's why John Travolta is in the slugs shirt because fucking old Tarantino was simping on some fucking chick from Santa Cruz, and that they're the slugs. Beautiful thing. I don't know what you're talking about because you're doing that fucking that the cleanser, the computer cleanser. Are those boots? Oh, oh fuck. <sighs> So, uh, hey, so me but, but, give me one. but when I did MDMA with Quentin Tarantino, he sucked your dick. No, he didn't suck my dick. Uh, but cooler if he did. No, the my friend sucks. It, it is a sucky story, okay. but but because he sucked your dick. No, no, the story sucks because uh, we did MDMA together because I scored him some and uh, allegedly, uh, no, dude. Ask, yeah, he's a, he's ask a, he's anybody or Cindy Ma, and <laughs> but then it's a, it's a tough conversation because I didn't want to be like, oh, you're, the, you're my favorite director. Did you want to spit in your I, mouth? I did talk about foot feet? fetish. No, stop it! I got you. Can feet? I talk? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I take your? No, I told him that I did something kinky with Joan Jett, and he goes, "What kind of sh- shoes was she wearing?" Look at me perk up. I'm all, oh shit, you slept with. I'm like, she's wearing fucking Converse. What, fuck, what do you mean? What, what's about that? Dude? She was fucking whipping my ass. And then oh. I, I said, I'm going to the bathroom, and the Bouncing Souls were playing right down the street. And I decided to fucking stop my conversation with Quentin to say hi to Greg and Brian. I don't know who Greg no, and Brian but are, but it, it was it's my second fun. biggest regret. But it's a, it's a tough conversation with with Quentin. Why? What about feet or spitting no, on people? Just I. Uh, he's the greatest director of our generation. Your generation. Uh, I was born. I was born, your- I was born in ninety one, bro. Oh my god, I was making fucking Attitude Records in ninety one. <laughs> 
I, I was singing terrible. We had to bring in Greg Graffin to sing on our records back then. Yeah. You were born in ninety one. Yeah. You look I, you look like as old as Clint Eastwood, kind of. <laughs> you look like Clint Christ Eastwood's Savage. brother. 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 <laughs> brother. Hey, shout out to Chesky, brother. Do you see what I'm dealing with? What are you doing, brother? Okay, well, we were gonna play music and stuff. Well, let's play. It. Let's go. No, I don't want to fucking play music. Is this? Why is this? Is this a fucking school? This desk? is a, what are you it's doing? It's a servant's here? table. I mean, I like this though, kind of. You know what I mean? <laughs> Cops come. I'm like, yo, I don't know what you're talking about. What do you mean this is live? So, so I understand you're in a new band. Yes, I am. All right. So let's play some uh, Circle Jerks or Angry Samoans or I don't know. <laughs> Your eyes are like a local anesthetic Like an ointment use a suit an abscess tooth inside a lion's head And I've tried to pull it by the root But the pain that you showed me makes me know it's absolute Oh, me loving you Push me to the end, right down too much more now Yeah, 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 you better make me, me, me a thousand lay, lay, lay Don't have to say, say, say it now I can't calm down to get a hold of myself What a mountain of evidence stacked against me Climbing to the top had the stunning look at my hell Bodies of prison cells made of cells That smell is not plastic one and you just made my heart melt Nobody can clean up this landfill a color bright star with just bills. Forty years of garbage are fulfilled. All of the people that ever had to love me still. Thank you, fuck you, too. Thank you, fuck you, too. Thank you, fuck you, too. Feed me something that'll make me numb enough to one day bomb myself. Oh, but I'm like, I'm at least I'm gonna let them find your view. Try to bring me in the steady for the sepsis, too. I found that time is gonna do what time does. Some space, okay. 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 This ain't the day I'm a fade. Hooray. Piccolo, I'm green skin, white sand. Miss me, I'm a Martian pussy cat scan. Backhand compliments, bloody floor plans. Hey, hey. Functioning alcoholic, fog machine, breather two seater, what you call it? A banshee or a black bunny rabbit, matted bite feet. Popping wheelies, negligent, we might flee. And if we do, I think you'll follow close behind us when I beg -o. You think I'm Play Doh? I lay low, then super say so all the way though. Pulling the sleigh, exempt of gifts. My life is no longer the pits, rather, it's now the pit. I'm the pit. I've the time, is gonna do what time does. I've seen Chesky cry. I see Chesky cry we, every time. We were watching uh, in, I love him, in ER, the ER episode when Dr. Green you, died. I'm cry Dr. Right Green died. And Chesky was... <laughs> and they were playing somewhere. Somewhere over the rainbow. The fat fucking... The fat Hawaiian guy? Well, yeah. Sorry, that I was the guy singing it. But Dr. Green was a skinny guy. A balding guy. There was only one dude. It was, uh, there was a fat Hawaiian dude. Rest he wasn't dying on ER. But... Are you but about George Clooney? No, no. But the guy in ER who sang for the Germs, ER. Yeah, his name was Noah. Are you something? talking about HR? No, ER. But he's in the Germs no, movie. Talking... The guy from ER played Darby Crash. And... George Clooney. Oh god, okay. it wasn't George Clooney. But I said, uh, "Hey, he was, ER. he was on ER." I go, "Dude, you put the ER in the Germs." <laughs> That's a stupid joke. <laughs> <laughs> Can we edit that out? <laughs> no, it's about to say it's real bad. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. The second time I saw him, what is I said that to him. He goes, he goes, Mike, you said that to me last time. I go, give me a germs burn. Give me a germs burn. <laughs> I know it's an emergency room, but is this like a band we're talking about? It's talking about the television show. ER, George fucking Clooney. Why do you keep dismissing me when I say George Clooney? I will dismiss. You're dismissed. 
You you are dismissed. Yes, dismissed. <laughs> dismissed? Have you fucked with that yet? No. A dismissed? No, but 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 get on your I, ground. I was, I was with the Dom uh, once. I was the with the Dom on. once, and <laughs> she didn't realize this, but she had red hair, so she named herself Miss Red. Why she gotta have red hair, bro? Miss Red. And it was like, Miss you're, Red. You're Miss Red. <laughs> That's pretty good. Miss Red's pretty good. Miss Red is good. You kind of redeemed yourself for the George Clooney novel. All right, this podcast is only supposed to be five minutes long. Okay, well, let's play some fucking music and, you know, go get the, the ABC pen. I'm going to play uh, ABC. From fucking Jackson 5? I dare you. Nah. I wrote an ABC song for Darla. Do you want to play it here? No, but I, I put clicks in. How's Darla doing? ABC, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, O, B, P. Oh, like the clicks. little, like, alligator clicks? clicks? Remember when you were a kid, they had the No, they clickers? do it in Africa. They do clicks. What do you mean? You know what? Why don't you live a little? Why don't you see the world? Okay. <laughs> I gotta look good if I'm going on a cruise. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm done because let's go. Uh, let's go do some testing. Uh, here's a here's a song by your other band, Get Dead. Your bread and butter. My my bread and butter, yeah. Your, your butter. We we made tens of dollars. With dozens, dude. Literally. Literally, dozens. we literally we made thousands of fans, but we made dozens of dollars. Well, you know, you're on fat records. Well, uh, you know. Here's hey, a song. On. Here's a song that because you know, remember we redid some of the songs. Okay. Yeah. This is one of the songs that you disagree that your version originally was better. Are you, are you better. To, it's better than I, I made a mistake. Okay. Okay. So you're about to play the Chris Dugan mixes. No, I'm playing this. This Chris Dugan mix. Are you? Uh, it's not below your knee. It's the knee. Oh, there's no below the knee. It's below the shoulder. Backpack, no tape back. <laughs> you owe me a coke, bitch. I get high and do graffiti and hide by myself. Practice what I'd say If they ever catch me I'm gonna kill them hell I'll tell them This is for everybody That this world took away That I love For every case that's been made For every can of pepper spray For every judge well, This place is just a breathing air Big laid by the sea We're wrong Loitering in a slow flood This game has no heart from the side, the crowd only came for the blood. Go too fast to tie last, too old to tie young, too strong to let go. To call that world run, able to ignore the urge to drop it all and join the friends. Violence is a change of kind of thing, but it feels nice to play. This is for everyone that this world took away from me that I loved. The emptiness inside For the pointless fucking lie For the part of me that wants to give up Well To fall in vain Into the free Free from the fear of the accountability I know it's wrong But this is what happens This is what you get when everything comes back around well, Too fast to die last Too old to die young Too strong to let go Too cold now I'm on you're able to ignore the edge to drop it out and join the frenzy violence of the change of kind of thing But it feels nice to play This is for everyone that this world took away from us that we fucked I mean, I, I mean, I, I you know, identify okay. as a young savage. So okay. I my last thing is when we were in China doing a huge press conference, like 40 news stations, the first thing, no, first thing Hefe says is, okay, I know what you people do and I'm not going to drink any Coca-Cola here. It's <laughs> the funniest no, thing I ever heard. No, no. He did. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, as far as the Wu-Tang no, Clan, the funniest thing he ever said. Friend. No one got it, but what we, the fuck? We Look at this shit. 
Who fucking has it? You can't have guests on your show and the shit doesn't fucking work. Here. Is it, do, I feel like I should be fucking throwing $100 bills in here or a parrot. Jesus Christ. Anyway, this episode has been brought to you by Liquid Death. Liquid Death. I just broke a chair. If you'd like to see the entire video of each episode and listen commercial free, go to FatMikeDude.com and subscribe. And now here's a playlist by Fat Mike. Something old, something new, something random, something Jew, and something you probably haven't heard before. by the dicks next up automatic by doom scroll Thank you. 
can't see Just what's been holding you back silently When will we shake this disease? And shout into the void till you hear chop back Break this paradigm of resistance and breathe Nothing's finite till the big Nerf Herder. Next up, Bad Religion. News from the front.
When I pissed a perfect rainbow And aced every drug screen I needed help so I called up this skinhead Lisa Brownlee's old boyfriend Noah Levine He had a place against the stream And he's a punk from Santa Cruz a Buddhist with a Jewish name, how could I ever lose? He'd give me a bro rate and a triple AAA discount If I checked into his mansion and paid the right amount Getting clean in seven days sounded pretty good In a gentrified hipster neighborhood they told me my addiction wouldn't be too hard to fix What they didn't tell me was about day six Fuck day six Fuck day six Fuck day six, Fuck day six. The guy who searched through all my things was that producer Jim Goodwin I giggled cause he missed my two milligram strip of suboxin He said this isn't funny big Mike, this is serious I said I'm laughing cause your hand was inside one of my jerk off socks My semi-private room smelled like rubbing alcohol So I wore a leather blindfold and a latex camisole Two days later when I woke up I was in such a good mood Cause I was three days clean and on Tuesday nights they served Mexican food I never tried to quit drugs or hang out That was Fuck Day 6 by No FX.